ऑल इंडिया रेडियो प्रेजेंट्स मॉर्निंग न्यूज गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम मीनाक्षी संत एंड विद मी इज सुभद्रा रामचंद्रन द हेडलाइंस Prime Minister Narendra Modi to share his thoughts in the 89th episode of Man Ki Baat program on All India Radio this morning. Closed fertilizer factories in UP, Bihar, Jharkhand, Odisha and Telangana to reopen says Prime Minister at inauguration of Nano Urea liquid plant at IFCO in Gujarat. President Ramnath Govind to inaugurate 59th General Assembly of all india ayurved mahasammelan in ujjain today prime minister to interact with orphan children across the country through video conferencing tomorrow under pm cares scheme 17th mumbai international film festival for documentary short fiction and animation films beginning in mumbai today indian filmmaker shonak sen wins leoin deor award for his documentary all that reads at cannes film festival information and broadcasting minister anurag singh thakur congratulates shonak sen international day of un peacekeepers being observed today indian tennis star rohan bopanna and his dutch partner matvey middelkoop advance into quarter finals of the french open men's doubles sania mirza and her czech partner lucy radicka to play in pre quarter finals today and in ipl rajasthan royals to face debutants gujarat titans in the summit clash at narendra modi stadium in ahmedabad this evening prime minister narendra modi will share his thoughts in the man ki baat program on all india radio at 11 am today it will be the 89th episode of the monthly radio program The program will be broadcast on the entire network of All India Radio and Doordarshan, AIR News website and news on AIR mobile app. It will also be live streamed on the YouTube channels of the AIR News, DD News, PMO and Information and Broadcasting Ministry. AIR will broadcast the program in regional languages immediately after the Hindi broadcast. The regional language versions will also be repeated at 8 p.m. Earlier, Prime Minister Narendra Modi had said that he got numerous inputs for this edition of Man Ki Baat program. He had expressed happiness that youngsters shared their views in large numbers. The Prime Minister has also shared a booklet based on last month's episode of Man Ki Baat containing interesting articles on the topics discussed in the program. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said that we are moving forward in the direction of a model cooperative village addressing the Sahkar Sammelan on Sahkar Se Samriddhi at Mahatma Mandir in Gandhinagar Gujarat yesterday he said six villages of Gujarat have been earmarked where cooperative arrangements will be completely made available Mr Modi expressed happiness over the inauguration of the nano urea liquid plant or IFCO at Kalol. This plant has a capacity of manufacturing 1.5 lakh bottles per day, but a eight more such plants will be established in India in the coming days. Urea ki bori ki taakat ek bottle mein sama gayi hai. Yani nano urea ki aadha liter bottle kisan ki ek bori urea ki zarurat to pura karegi. Ye jo aadhunik plant कलोल में लगा है इसकी कैपेसिटी अभी डेढ़ लाख बोतल के उत्पादन की है लेकिन आने वाले समय में ऐसे आठ और प्लांट देश में लगने वाले हैं इससे यूरिया पर विदेशी निर्भरता कम होगी देश का पैसा भी बचेगा मिस्टर मोदी सेड आफ्टर कमिंग टू पावर इन 2014 द गवर्नमेंट प्रॉट इन 100 परसेंट नीम कोटिंग ऑफ यूरिया This ensured that the farmers of the country got enough urea. He added, the government has started the work of restarting five closed fertilizer factories in UP, Bihar, Jharkhand, Odisha and Telangana simultaneously. Prime Minister Modi said, the solution to most of our problems is self-reliance and a great model of self-reliance is our cooperative. 
He mentioned that the government has worked to find permanent solutions to various problems in the last eight years. The Prime Minister said that Gujarat was also fortunate in getting the leadership of Mahatma Gandhi and Sardar Patel. He said that the example of the cooperative model of the dairy sector is before us. He added that today India is the largest milk producer in the world in which Gujarat has a major share. The Prime Minister said the government plays the role of just a facilitator in the dairy sector and the rest is done by cooperatives or farmers. He reiterated that the efforts is to encourage cooperative-based economic model in the country. Sadhyo, sabka saath, sabka vikas, sabka vishwas aur sabka prayas. Is mantra par hum chal rahe hain, ye mantra apne aap mein sahakar ki atma hi hai. Sahakar ki seemao ke andar hi hai ye mantra. Is liye sahakar ki spirit ko aadhaji ke amrit kaal ki spirit se jodne ke liye हम निरंतर आगे बढ़ रहे हैं इसी उद्देश्य के साथ केंद्र में सहकारिता के लिए अलग मंत्रालय का गठन किया गया और कोशिश यही है कि देश में सहकारिता आधारित आर्थिक मॉडल को प्रोत्साहित किया जाए मिस्टर मोदी एम्फोसाइज दैट द बिगेस्ट स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ अ कोऑपरेटिव इज ट्रस्ट एंड कोऑपरेशन He mentioned the small farmers are being empowered today and similarly MSMEs are being made a strong part of India's self-reliant supply chain. Speaking on this occasion, Union Home and Cooperative Minister Amit Shah said the nano urea liquid plant of IFCO inaugurated by the Prime Minister will save our land and water. Mr Shah said Prime Minister Modi has started the Ministry of Cooperation which will boost the cooperative sectors across the nation. मोदी जी के नेतृत्व में करीब करीब एक साल पहले एक क्रांतिकारी कदम लिया कि सहकारिता मंत्रालय की रचना भारत सरकार में एक कदम कहने को तो एक मंत्रालय की रचना का है मगर देश के करोड़ों किसान और सहकारिता आंदोलन के सभी कार्यकर्ता जानते हैं कि ये कदम आने वाले 100 साल तक सहकारिता आंदोलन को नया जीवन देने वाला है उसमें प्राण फूंकने वाला है President Ramnath Kovind will inaugurate the 59th General Assembly of All India Ayurveda Mahasammelan in Ujjain today. The President will also inaugurate the building of the Government Ayurveda College in Ujjain, built at a cost of about 20 crore rupees. The President is on a three-day visit to MP these days. We have more from our Bhopal correspondent. Many renowned Ayurveda scientists are attending the Mahasammelan. All India Ayurveda Vidya Peet and Scientific Conference will also be organized during the Mahasammelan. The subjects like Ayurveda diet is a basis of health and free trade of Ayurvedic medicines at the national and international level will be discussed in the Mahasammelan. Governor Mangubai Patel, Chief Minister Shivra Singh Chauhan and Union Ayush Minister Sarvanan Sonwal will also attend the event. The President will also review the development and expansion work being done in the Mahakaleshwar Temple. Bill at the cost of rupees 310 crore. Meanwhile, in the first leg of his visit, the president had inaugurated the Arogya Manthan program in Bhopal yesterday. He also performed Bhumi Poojan and inaugurated newly held institutions worth about rupees 400 crore. Sanjeev Sharma, AIR News, Bhopal. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will interact with orphans across the country through video conferencing tomorrow. The PM Cares for Children scheme launched by Prime Minister Narendra Modi this day last year aims to support children who have lost both the parents or legal guardian or adoptive parents or surviving parents to COVID-19 pandemic during the period starting from March 2020. In Uttar Pradesh, the scheme has become a great support to such children. We have a report. Many children in Uttar Pradesh lost their parents during COVID pandemic and PM Cares for Children scheme ensured comprehensive care and protection of children in a sustained manner. District Probationary Officer of Unnao District Renu Yadav told AIR News that three children in the district are getting benefit of the scheme and it has proved to be a boon for them. हमारे माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी द्वारा एक बहुत ही अच्छी योजना ऐसे बच्चों को अपने माता-पिता या अभिभावक के रूप में उनको एहसास 
लाने के लिए चलाई जा रही है जिसके अंतर्गत बच्चे के प्रारंभ से उसकी शिक्षा से लेके उसकी उच्च शिक्षा तक का पूरा सहयोग सरकार द्वारा दिया जा रहा है उसके रहने का उच्च शिक्षा में अगर वो एजुकेशन लोन तक भी लेता है तो वो भी सरकार द्वारा वहन किया जाएगा फोर सच चिल्ड्रेन इन स्टेट आर गेटिंग बेनिफिट ऑफ द स्कीम करेंटली एंड नाव दे डू नॉट हैव टू वरी फॉर देयर फ्यूचर सुशील चंद्र तिवारी ए न्यूज लखनऊ 43 ऑफ़ ऑफ सिंसमठाने डिस्ट्रिक्ट हुआ बेनिफिशियरीज ऑफ प्राइम मिनिस्टर्स केयर फॉर चिल्ड्रन स्कीम विल आल्सो पार्टिसिपेट इन दिस प्रोग्राम फ्रॉम डिस्ट्रिक्ट कलेक्टर ऑफिस Out of 43, about 18 years orphans will be physically present at collector's office, and below 18 years of age will be present through webcast. India's COVID vaccination coverage has crossed 193 crore, 26 lakh so far. More than 12 lakh vaccine doses were administered yesterday. The Union Health Ministry said over 4 crore, 97 lakh vaccine doses have been administered to children belonging to the age group of 12 to 14 years so far. Better connectivity is central for ease of doing business, and it is the key priority of the Modi government, said Union Minister for External Affairs Dr. S. J. Shankar in Guwahati while inaugurating the third Natural Allies in Development and Interdependence (NADI) conclave. The union minister said India is more connected to the northeastern states and the states are also more connected to India's neighbors better connectivity will completely transform the region's economy instead of considering this region as frontiers it may be regarded the hub for development as it has the resources and skills he added this region can be the outlet for india's global access pointed out the union minister Union Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman will deliver the valedictory address of the conclave on the 29th of May. You are listening to the Morning News on All India Radio. A reminder of the headlines before we move on. Prime Minister Narendra Modi to share his thoughts in the 89th episode of Man Ki Baat program on All India Radio this morning. Close fertilizers factories in UP, Bihar, Jharkhand, Odisha and Telangana to reopen, says Prime Minister at inauguration of Nano Urea Liquid Plant of IFCO in Gujarat. President Ramnath Kovind to inaugurate the 59th General Assembly of All India Ayurveda Mahasammelan in Ujjain today. Prime Minister to interact with orphan children across the country through video conferencing tomorrow and the PM Cares scheme. The 17th Mumbai International Film Festival for documentary, short fiction and animation films beginning in Mumbai today. Indian filmmaker Sean Aksen wins Loyal Dio Award for his documentary All That Breeds at Khan Film Festival. Information and Broadcasting Minister Anurag Singh Thakur congratulates Sean Ak International Day of UN Peacekeepers being observed today. Indian tennis star Rohan Bopanna and his Dutch partner Matve Middelkoop advances into quarterfinals of French Open men's doubles. Sanya Mirza and her Czech partner Lucy Hradeka to play in pre-quarterfinals today. And in IPL, Rajasthan Royals to face debutants Gujarat Titans in the summit clash at Narendra Modi Stadium in Ahmedabad this evening. For quick news updates, round the clock. Follow us on our Twitter handle at AIR News Alerts. Competition के अगर आप कर रहे हैं तैयारी तो उनके लिए All India Radio पर हम लाए हैं अभ्यास एक ऐसा कार्यक्रम जिसमें आप पूछेंगे सवाल WhatsApp number nine two eight nine zero nine four zero double four पर या फिर email करेंगे अभ्यास dot AIR News at gmail dot com पर और हमारे विशेषज्ञ देंगे इसका जवाब इस बार का विषय है एनवायरमेंट एंड क्लाइमेट चेंज और सवाल भेजने की अंतिम तारीख है एक जून आपका अभ्यास हमारा प्रयास अपने बिजनेस को बढ़ाने के लिए लीजिए आकाशवाणी का सहयोग और दीजिए उसे बुलंदियों के पंख आपका बिजनेस लोकल है या राष्ट्रीय आकाशवाणी देती है उपभोक्ताओं तक पहुंचने का हर विकल्प और अब तो आप घर दफ्तर या दुकान पर बैठे बैठे कर सकते हैं आकाशवाणी के किसी भी केंद्र के लिए विज्ञापनों की बुकिंग आकाशवाणी के विभिन्न चैनलों पर विज्ञापन देना सुलभ और सस्ता बुकिंग है तो संपर्क करें आठ सात शून्य 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 एक चार दो चार दो आरोप आठ सात शून्य 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 एक चार दो चार दो प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी 
will interact with beneficiaries of about 16 schemes and programs spanning nine ministries and departments as part of Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsab celebrations on the 31st of May. The national level event named Garib Kalyan Sammelan will be held at Shimla where the Prime Minister will directly interact with the beneficiaries through video conferencing. He will also release the 11th installment of the Kisan Samman Nidhi, amounting to more than 21,000 crore rupees. At the same time, events will also be organized at state capitals, district headquarters and KVK centers. Under this series of events, the scheme beneficiaries will interact with chief ministers, central and state ministers, members of parliament, members of legislative assembly and other elected representatives. Ladakh Lieutenant Governor R. K. Mathur directed the Union Territory Administration to achieve the center's saturation targets for the flagship schemes within this financial year. He reviewed the status of saturation of 13 flagship schemes in Ladakh. These schemes include PM Avas Yojana, Jal Jeevan Mission, Survey of Villages Abadi and Mapping with Improvised Technology in Village Areas, Swamitava, Ayushman Bharat and Pradhan Mantri Jeevan Jyoti Bhima Yojana. As our nation celebrates the 75th year of independence, a series of events are being organized by the government as a part of Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav to commemorate the occasion as a Jan Utsav. All India Radio News brings its listeners a special quiz on India's freedom movement and its glorious history. The next question will be shared with the listeners in the morning news tomorrow. And now, let's listen to our special program, Azadi Ka Safar, highlighting the importance of the day during the freedom struggle. Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav Azadi Ka Safar with AIR News, Birth of a Nation. India's glorious freedom struggle is one of the greatest struggles the modern world has ever witnessed. AIR News brings you a glimpse of the struggle every day. Twenty-ninth May is the birth anniversary of freedom fighter and journalist Kanhaiya Lal Mishra Prabhakar, who was born in Saharanpur in 1906. During his college days, Kanhaiya Lal left studies and jumped into the freedom struggle. He spent many years in jail. As the country got independence on 15th August 1947, Kanhaiya Lal started his newspaper titled Vikas the very same day. Writing was not just a medium of entertainment for Kanhaiya Lal. He used to write for the moral development of the society. Once Nehruji asked Prabhakar, What are you doing nowadays? To this, Prabhakar replied, Panditji, now our country is focused on constructing bigger and taller dams and buildings. Structures built of bricks and mortar are becoming taller than humans. There will come a time when the nation will need great leaders. I am busy writing literature that will help nurture leadership in the future. Mishra published several books. Deep Jale, Shank Bajay, Mati Hogai Sona, Nai Pirhi, Nai Vichar are some of his notable works. Kanahiya Lal continued to work for the people of the country till his death in 1995. AIR News salutes the great nationalist. <laughs> We also remember freedom fighter Lok Ram Nayan Ram Sharma, who died on 29th of May, 1933. A journalist by profession, Lok Ram used to write nationalistic articles, which were many times banned by the British authorities. He also participated in the Salt Satyagraha. <laughs> Ram was born in 1890 in the Sindh province. 
He had a special interest in the Sanskrit language. Due to this interest, at the age of 15, he went to Varanasi with his friend Guru Das to study Sanskrit. While living in Varanasi, he was introduced to anti-Bengal partition agitators. By the time he reached Sindh back in 1907, he was full of nationalistic sentiments. In his hometown, he associated with prominent Sindhi leaders, Choice Ram Gidwani, Jairam Das and Dolat Ram. <laughs> Lok Ram was instrumental in helping convene the Congress session in Karachi in 1931. Lok Ram's writing strongly supported national aspirations. He formed a cultural organization called Ras Mandali. Then he started publishing Sindh Bhaskar, a letter in Devnagri script instead of Arabic script. After some time, its name was changed to Hindu. The British government imposed a ban on his letters and confiscated the press. Lok Ram Nayan Ram Sharma went to jail several times, due to which his health deteriorated and he became ill. He died on 29th of May 1933. We salute the great freedom fighter. We also remember independence activist Soma Sorin, a resident of Santhal Parganas, Jharkhand, who took active part in the Quit India movement of 1942. He was arrested for his anti-British activities and imprisoned in the Dumka jail. He died during imprisonment on the 29th of May, 1943. We salute the great martyr. We also remember martyr Isa Muhammad, who took part in the first war of independence in 1857. Muhammad was captured by the company's troops in the course of an engagement. He was sentenced to transportation for life on 29th of May, 1858. Muhammad was shot dead in 1859 while trying to escape from the detention. We salute the great son of the soil. That brings us to the end of this episode of Azadi Ka Safar with AIR News. See you in the next episode tomorrow. Union Minister for Sports and Youth Affairs, Anurag Singh Thakur, has said, by the end of this year, increased honorarium will be approved for wrestlers who are undergoing training in different institutes across the country. He was speaking after inaugurating a training facility for women at Gulshe Thalam, one of the oldest training camps in Pune, yesterday. Premi ho jao tayar. Aaya hai filmo ka tyohar. 29 May se 4 June tak lagatar sapno ka shehar laya aapke liye upar. Dekhe Mumbai International Film Festival online bhi, offline bhi. Panjikaran karay www.miff.in par. The 17th Mumbai International Film Festival for Documentary, Short Fiction and Animation Films will begin in Mumbai today. The opening ceremony of the week-long biennial event will take place at the Nehru Centre, Worli. All the screenings will be done in the Films Division Complex, which has state-of-the-art auditoriums. The complex, which also houses the National Museum of Indian Cinema, is fully geared up to host the festival. Our Mumbai correspondent reports that the MIFF has got an overwhelming response from filmmakers across the world, receiving a whopping 808 film entries from 30 countries. The best film of the festival will receive the Golden Conch Award, along with a cash prize of 10 lakh rupees. Other awards carry cash awards varying from 5 to 1 lakh, along with silver conch, trophy and certificate. The Dr. V. Shantaram Lifetime Achievement Award that carries a cash award of 10 lakh rupees, Golden Conch in a citation, will be presented to a filmmaker of eminence for their seminal contribution to documentary films, which will also be presented. 
information and broadcasting minister anurag singh thakur has congratulated indian filmmaker shonak sen for the confirmation of loi vio award for his documentary all that breathes at khan film festival in a tweet mr thakur expressed confidence that it will inspire other indian documentary makers to make it big at the world stage Having served the nation and the Indian Navy with great distinction for 34 eventful years, INS Gomti was decommissioned at sunset at the Naval Dockyard in Mumbai yesterday in an elegant, solemn and poignant ceremony. The ship was paid off under the command of Captain Sudeep Malik. INS Gomti derives her name from the vibrant river Gomti and was commissioned on 16 April 1988 by the Honourable Raksha Mantri Shri K C Pan at Mazgaon Dock Limited, Bombay. After her decommissioning the ship's legacy will be kept alive in an open air museum being set up by the picturesque banks of the eponymous river Gomti in Lucknow where several of her combat systems will be displayed as military and war relics The International Day of UN Peacekeepers is being observed today for the past two decades on this day UN peacekeepers also known as the blue helmets are remembered by the world for their role in promoting security peace and stability more than 1 million un peacekeepers have taken part in 72 such operations since 1948 this year the theme is people peace progress the power of partnerships india has played a key role in un peacekeeping operations it sent doctors and nurses to congo in 1960 and then an all women team to liberia in 2008 un resident coordinator in india shombi sharp lauded india's role and said its core democratic ideals and values are a testimony of its capacity india actually is um we look historically since the beginning across time india is actually the largest troop contributing country of all this is really really fundamentally important to understand and today india is the third largest active troop contributing country uniform personnel in the world with over 5500 uniform personnel currently um serving in un peacekeeping missions so that's really a tremendous recognition let's say of india's commitment to the un charter to the values of the UN peacekeeping to really helping to ensure consistent steadfast international peace and security In French Open tennis, Indian tennis star Rohan Bopanna and his Dutch partner Matvei Middelkoop advanced to the men's doubles quarterfinals beating the reigning Olympic champions Nicola Mektig and Nate Pavic in Paris yesterday. Bopanna and Middelkoop beat second seeded pair 6-7-7-6 in the third round they will now play britain lloyd daspool and finland's harry heliofara in the last 16 in women's doubles 10 seeds sanya mirza and her czech partner lucy hudeka will face eight seeded all american duo of coco golf and jessica pegula in the pre quarter finals today the two month long cricket extravaganza the indian premier league 2022 will come to a close this evening with debutants gujarat titans locking horns with rajasthan royals in the finals the match will be played at narendra modi stadium motera ahmedabad at 8 this evening and now let us have a look at the weather forecast for today the national capital delhi will have a partly cloudy sky the minimum temperature was 28 and maximum will be 41 degrees celsius mumbai and chennai will have a generally cloudy sky Kolkata will have a partly cloudy sky with possibility of moderate rain or thunderstorm. Srinagar and Jammu will also have a partly cloudy sky with possibility of rain or thunderstorm. And now an overview of today's newspaper. The Prime Minister's speech at an event in Gujarat after the completion of 8 years of his government on 26th May in Gujarat has captured headlines of most newspapers today. Have built India that Gandhi Patel dreamt of. Prime Minister says work to protect the dignity of the poor in past eight years. Headlines of Sunday Tribune. The Economic Times knows have spared no effort in serving people, says Prime Minister. The Hindu informs did not cause shame in eight-year rule. Modi in poll ban Gujarat. Prime Minister lists welfare measures of his government. The Sunday Times reports on its front page roots via Myanmar Bangladesh could transform Asia external affairs minister the pioneer headlines 88% of adults fully vaccinated against covid the sunday tribune cautions on its lead page could be the start bonds who amid monkeypox surge and now before we end the bulletin the headlines once again 
Prime Minister Narendra Modi to share his thoughts in the 89th episode of Man Ki Baat program on All India Radio this morning. Closed fertilizer factories in UP, Bihar, Jharkhand, Odisha and Telangana to reopen, says Prime Minister, at inauguration of Nano Urea Liquid Plant at IFCO in Gujarat. President Ramnath Kovind to inaugurate the 59th General Assembly of All India Ayurvedic Maha Sammelan in Ujjain today. 17th Mumbai International Film Festival for documentary short fiction and animations beginning in Mumbai today. International Day of UN Peacekeepers being observed today. And in IPL, Rajasthan Royals to face debutants Gujarat Titans in the Summit Clash at Narendra Modi Stadium in Ahmedabad this morning. And with that, we end the morning news. Have a nice day.